Thank you, Mr. President. You know, one of the things that I've been contacted about throughout the course of events dealing with the budget and dealing with the issues uh, over the course of this last few months has been something that the uh, esteemed uh, gentleman from uh, Wayne County talked about, which was PEIA. PEIA is funded within our budget, and we've heard uh, the senator from the fourth talk about that as well. And it's in, in, in Article 20, uh, Article 28 of, of, of our budget. The governor provided us information that showed that public employees and insurance agency is funded within the budget. And I just want to assure the people at home, more than anything else, that the things that impact our public employees and our people at home, the governor has indicated certain things within that. Public employees insurance is just a part of that. The part we're talking about here is the is the is this particular tax legislation that the governor's proposed necessary in order to fund the budget. Doesn't impact necessarily one particular line item, but it funds the budget. I agree uh, that we had to find other locations where we could raise revenue. Uh, and in this particular instance, we have a, a, an additional revenue stream through the amend, uh, amendment that was attached to this particular piece of legislation that allows us to be able to, to realize the necessary revenue to operate the state off of. Our people at home need to understand that we are working diligently as their representatives here in this body trying to find ways that we can raise the appropriate revenue stream to take care of the issues that are in this budget. I would urge passage of the bill.